One of the things that uh, struck me throughout this uh, very difficult uh, uh, tragedy that performed on the Muslim Ummah is how hypocritic the international community again have demonstrated uh, their lack of uh, responsibility and response to the needs of the Muslims. Now, we know what the Syrian people have gone through through the past decade. They went through so much hardships, they were relocated and they went through uh, so much killing and destruction and they sought refuge in northern parts of Syria. Now Allah Azza wa have, uh, from his wisdom, have ordained to have uh, an earthquake hitting south Turkey and north of Syria. There is alhamd, a quick response in Turkey to aid the people who are have been affected. But unfortunately, up to nowadays, um, I'm, 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 I have been following up with the news, very limited if there is any aid is going to Syria. And the international community, again, over and over again, show their lack of sense and responsibility to the human uh, needs. What we need to do today and to, is to sincerely be saying to Allah Azza Ma illa illa anta ya Allah. And this is the slogan that the Syrian people have started with at the beginning of their ordeal. They said, Ma illa illa anta ya Allah. We have no one except you. And we say, Ya Rabbi, nowadays, Ma illa illa anta. Ya Allah, we have no one except you. None of the Muslim leadership have demonstrated courage, enough courage to step in and intervene and aid and support those who are in northern parts of Syria. Up to nowadays, there's only limited port that would allow a humanitarian aid to go to the Syrian people. The, the, our other ports are closed. And we say, why? Why is this happening? There's no answer to this except that these are people who are saying, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. So we need as Muslims to say, Ya Rabbi, this is our excuse, this is our burden, Ya Rabbi, this is the minimum we can do. We will be, inshallah, giving support today and hoping that this support, inshallah, will be reaching our brothers and sisters who are devastated and affected in the northern parts of Syria, as well as those who are affected in, in, the, in the, north, the southern parts of Turkey. But we want to make sure that at least it's reaching those who are affected most, who are still suffering, who haven't been able to get a break. And we say to them, when the Sahaba saw the confederators coming to the Medina, what did they say? They did not despair. They say, and as we're seeing what is happening to our Muslim fellows, we say the same thing. Now we are more certain that the victory of Allah is coming, and inshallah it's coming very soon, because with difficulties comes the ease. These difficult situations should not make us, but more optimistic about the victory of the deen of Allah Azza. I always say to people, the victory of Allah is coming, regardless. What is important is what is my own contribution to the victory of the deen of Allah Azza. Today we have a chance to contribute, give from what Allah Azza has given to you, so that inshallah we will be part of the victory of the deen of Allah Azza.